Uh, training log, December 22nd, 2023. It was my second leg day of the week. But before that, I wanna talk about deadlifts. I deadlifted yesterday. I did sumo, double overhand with straps. Usually I do uh, conventional with a switch grip, one over, one under. My right side, which I have an overhand um, pull, usually my right lower back gives me problems. After yesterday's sumo, double overhand, my left side is giving me some problems to the point where I woke up several times last night, just had to roll around and try and get it situated. So um, it's not like a spinal pain, but it's very, very far lower back. So I don't know what that is, but I'll say it probably has something to do with going overhand. And that explains why my right side has always been sore and my left side never bothered me because it's traditionally what I pull underhand with. So moving on, uh, I'll just, I'm gonna take that with, um, take take that home with me, think it over and consider what I'll do next time when I deadlift. But today was my second leg day. I do legs on Tuesday and Friday now, a lot less focused on like a leg press or a squat and more focused on extensions and curls to really get my legs pumped up without destroying my knees, destroying my lower back, etc. Um, Tuesday was more quad focused. Today was more hamstring focused. Rolled in there and did a bunch of um, hamstring curls, laying hamstring curls. I just sat there and kept going. Sat at the same weight for a while until I finally got a good pump. And then I finally moved on. So I sat at the same weight, I do drop sets. I was just doing whatever I could do to beat up my hamstrings without doing major movements. From there, I rolled on and tried to do some major movements. So I tried various leg presses, uh, squats on the Smith machine, etc. Just short ranges of motion, trying to work my hamstrings without destroying my lower back and my knees. So it was an experimental day. All of that shit went okay. Nothing really to write home about, but my, my hamstrings did get a good pump out of them. From there, I do hit the quads on Friday as well. So I just rolled over to um, the leg extension machine and found a good range of motion and kind of a good setting on that machine. My knees were a little beat up from all the attempted presses. Um, so I found a good range of motion where I could really flex the quads at the top, hold it and get them pumped up. And I just did, I, I don't know, not tremendous weight. Again, I was looking for 20 reps i didn't care at 10 to 20 i really just wanted to get a pump and a flex so a lot of drop sets and then i'd come back and do another drop set come back do another drop set and i was super setting that which means i was doing that and my hamstring curls at the same time so i went back to hamstring curls and would do a leg extension hamstring curl leg extension hamstring curl just trying to get everything pumped up once more before i called it so it went well i wish i could figure out uh, a better pressing motion without destroying my knees, but um, still working on that. Ended with uh, about 12 minutes on the stair machine. Uh, it's just another way to beat the shit out of my legs. So I did all my leg work. Now I'm gonna just sit and climb the stairs at a moderate pace for 12 minutes, really focusing on pushing with my legs. So decent workout. I wish I had a better um, pressing motion that I found, but I'm still experimenting, still looking around. Very little footage today. It's almost Christmas. A lot of people are in the gym now. I do not want to be a turd just filming myself all the time. So it's a training log. I'm trying to capture what I did, but you know, I know what I did up here. I capture the videos I can. So keep moving.
Yeah. 